An American photojournalist was uh, recently beheaded by ISIS members, uh, I think in Iraq. This needs to stop. Okay, if you go, you can research crap on the internet. There's been dozens in, in the last 10 years or so that have been captured and beheaded by terrorist groups over there. Some of them reporters, some of them con contractors, there was a, a Korean a translator. Get out of Iraq. Uh, Mr. President Obama, please. Sorry, cat here on my uh, keyboard here. Get everyone out of Iraq. Get out of the Middle East. Get all the troops out of there. Get all the reporters out of there. We don't need to be over there. Do you think if uh, we had terrorist groups attacking you know, us in the United States, do you think do you think anybody from the Middle East would send reporters over here to cover the story? Would um, military groups from other countries come in to police us and protect us? No. Just get out of there. Let them fend for themselves. People that were able to flee, they'll flee. And they're just going to go and kill everybody anyway. It's not worth it. James Foley, the reporter, he, uh, his life was worth more than that. To be uh, executed. They had to make political statements all the time. They put these guys in orange jumpsuits and they have them read, read or say a scripted statement. And then... Uh, they chop out their head and then they sit there and they, just, they, they threaten us and say, this is for this, this is for that. If you do this again, we're going to do this to this person. There's another reporter that they have over there. Um, if we do, if we, the president uh, does any more bombings, they're going to do the same thing to, to him. Just get out of the Middle East. Worry about what's going on over here in the United States. Okay? It sucks for all the innocent people over there all the civilians and whatnot, but uh, they can either flee the country or they, you know, live there and have to risk their lives. I don't know. It's overrun. Let them have the Middle East. Let them have Iraq. Just get out of there. Because what can you do? You can go over and drop atomic bombs everywhere, but I'm sure they still have one of our reporters here and there and other Americans that are traveling overseas just, you know, for whatever reason. They're going to just capture them and whoosh. They don't care that they're not military. Oh, civilians are easy targets. They're going to grab you, they're going to chop you, blah, blah, blah. Remember Daniel Pearl? There's a long list of these people that they've done this to. Get out of the Middle East. They don't have any business being over there anymore. Didn't in the first place. The heck with the oil. The heck with the everything. Is it worth risking um, innocent civilian lives just to... Uh, police the terrorists and all that crap just get out of there this guy had family they all have families doesn't matter to terrorists and does it doesn't matter to the United States I don't know the whole we don't negotiate with terrorists thing Either nuke the entire country or get out of there because they're just going to keep, they're just going to, terrorist groups are just going to keep murdering journalists and civilians. Just, see, if I was a president, I'm not telling you how to do your job, I would close down all the military bases overseas and everywhere else. I just worry about the United States. 
maybe we'd work with Canada and Mexico. But uh, the heck with the rest of the world. They can have their own military. They can fight. Win or lose, they can fight their own battles. Uh, that's all I have to say.